We are back this week with Coach Griffin. Coach, we're looking for a little more views on your video this week, so we brought in Keaton Upshaw to help you out here, okay. get some more people to watch it. <laughs> Coach, let's talk a little bit about the last couple of weeks some tough losses. I mean, what are you guys doing this week to, to get back on track and get ready for the weekend? Well, we cut down practice um, this week. We're going in, in shorts and, and helmet, not just for the heat, but uh, for we can get down to the, to the O-line and D-line for they can get to their positions and, and get to the fundamentals that we started off in uh, July 31st. So if we do that, you know, we'll be fine. And we just got to execute, go back to the first two games when we spread the ball around. And, uh, you know, we find, we're fine if, we're, if we do that, to get the ball in the playmaker's hands. Back at home again this weekend with Fremont Ross. What do we know about that team? Uh, Fremont's a good team. They're coming off of a big win um, against St. John's um, last week. Um, they have a good quarterback that scrambles around. We actually worked on, on the scramble drill yesterday. Um, and, and we're going to continue to work on that. Um, defense is solid, but they're not as big as, as the last two teams. So I think up front, you know, we'll be able to handle those guys. Keaton, what's your take on the season so far and what you guys need to do to, to get back in the winning, winning trend? And what's your role with this team right now? Uh, I feel like we just got to continue to keep working hard, pushing each other in practice, listening to coaches. I feel like uh, my, my role is to be a leader, continue to make uh, my players better each and every day. What kind of things are you guys talking about this week, as just as a team, as a players, to sort of shake the last two weeks off but to get ready for Fremont? Just to get back how we was week one and week two. You know, the last couple of weeks have been tough, but we just beat ourselves, really. We just got to come back, remain focused, and uh, work harder. So let's talk a little bit about your future, your future here, Keaton. I know you've committed to the University of Kentucky. Talk a little bit about that process. A lot of schools are looking at you, and how did you end up with, with Kentucky? Uh, I just felt like Kentucky was my best decision for me, especially my family. Uh, I trust the coaches there. It's the right fit for me academically and football-wise. And just all around, it's a great atmosphere. What's your plans? What are you going to major in? And what's your other plans for college? I'll be majoring in construction management. All right. Is it been a little bit of, you've been able to relax a little bit as you made that decision before the season started? And was that good to get that behind you? Yes, it's been a big weight, weight off my shoulders, you know. Just now, I could just focus on the season and just winning and going into the season. Just finish strong with my brothers and my family. What, what's your goal now for this season? Well, how far could you think you guys can go? I think we can make it to the playoffs and much longer. Try to get a championship. All right, Coach. Talk to me a little bit about Keaton and what kind of player is he? I mean, what do you, what do you see his future looking like? Well, his future is sky's the limit. To be honest with you, uh, we definitely you know this year we we hired a, a tight ends coach and, and it shows on the field. You know, with his blocking and, and just basic stuff that he's improved in. And he can catch anything, you know. So as long as you put it in, in a frame, you know, he's definitely going to catch that ball. And, and, I, and I honestly believe he chose the best spot. I think, you know, I trust their tight end coach down at Kentucky. Um, he's going to guide them um, for four or five years. You know, for him, he might think three if he, he has that big chance, if, if he wants to go a step f further. Um, but I really honestly believe that he has NFL potential. Uh, but he has to believe in it. And, uh, you know, of course, on the next level, you know, they're going to push him to get to that level. And if he accepts it, which he will, um, he definitely can make to that next level after that. What pushes you, Keaton, to, to play every week and to, to get better? It's my mom. She pushed me every day, making sure I'm doing my thing in the classroom, pushing me to get up, work out, get to practice, make everybody around me better. So back at home this week, you have homecoming next week. Do you like playing at home? Is it, is it better for you guys to be home? Yes, I love being around the crowd, our home crowd. You know, it's just, it just feels good. And I feel like we just come out way better playing in front of our crowd.